Hey, what's up, Mini Bike Tom here. Want something I want to go over with you that I experienced on my mini bike. I found very dangerous and something that should be corrected. If you do drive a mini bike without the airbox, uh, this is like the third time it happened to me, and I keep on modifying each mini bike to adjust for the malfunction. And what happens when you stand up next to your mini bike, say you want to uh, pull up your pants or you want to stand there for a minute? On these that don't have the airbox on them, this little rod sticks out pretty far from your motor. And when your pant leg and you go to a stand up, it will come in contact with this rod that sticks out pretty far. And uh, when you move your leg back, it pulls the throttle wide open. And as the mini bike takes off underneath your legs, it also pulls it even further wide open because it's hooked to your pants. So, anybody that has a Predator engine without the airbox, as you see, I have no airbox. Darn, I don't even have an air cleaner. Then I always tell anybody, you don't see air cleaners on a dragster, do you? But that's not the right answer. Anyhow, <clears throat> if you have one of these engines, you don't have an airbox, highly recommend taking a hacksaw grinder, cutting this baby off. No harm, no foul there. This one here the other day I was stood up on it to do something. I hit the throttle. I had to catch it just before it took off into the house. This one over here, twice I had to learn my lesson. The second time I was by an intersection, I stood up, I hit the throttle, I had to catch the bike on the way up out from underneath my legs, and I went home and cut that little tab right off. Highly look recommended. Do it before it happens to you. And uh, we'll catch up with you later. Take it easy. Bye.